Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see from First Made Hugo, what we're going to be brewing today. Yes, sir, Bob. Pumpkin Ale. So we got our uh, mashed pot there and, uh, um, you know, the usual, heating up the water. So, yeah, we're brewing up a pumpkin beer. So let me get, uh, come over here and uh, hopefully I'm in focus. The last couple weeks have been pretty crazy. Uh, I know I haven't put anything up, and I just haven't feeling like it. Uh, a lot of things been going on, and I had to dump both the wheat beer and the stout down the drain. So about 10 gallons of beer. You know, 48 bottles were already bottled of the stout, and or no, the wheat was bottled, and then the stout I brewed in. The fermenter shot, got it's infected, it's shot, it's done. Back to back brews were. Freaking sour. Had sour taste, some sort of funk in it. It was like, bleh. horrible. Horrible. So, the captain and the first mate have been uh, pretty down in the dumps about that lately. I rebrewed the stout with the new fermenter, and I'll show you in a minute. It's over there with sanitizer, and I'll show you the new fermenter. So, that's good to go. So, not, you know, I haven't been um, doing too much with the videos because of that. So, here it is the new fermenter. The airlock goes in there, but everything's in there sanitizing. So, uh, yeah. So, I don't know how much footage I want to show. Maybe show the color of the beer when I'm done. But, uh, yeah. That's where we are. So, I hope you guys are good. I know this might is a quick video and stuff like that. But, it's like, I've been down in the dumps with throwing those two batches down. Some other personal things that have been going on. So, uh, yeah. <sighs> hey, it's an adventure, man. Even if it's a bad adventure. Two failed attempts, my stout and my wheat beer, down the tubes. So, I rebrewed the stout, like I said. That tasted good going into the bottle on bottling day. So, I um, redeemed myself with that. So, I'll have a taste test on that within a week. Probably Friday. So it's already been in the f bottles for a week. Yes, been in the bottles for a week. And so, next week I'll give a sample, see how the carbonation level is. So, we'll bring you back in shortly and uh, show you where we're at with this beer. Alright guys, we're all mashed in here, ready to go. Uh, temperature... Uh, yep, alright. 155, like that. We're going to get it in the oven, so that's the color for now. And we'll bring you back. Got all four cans of pumpkin in the mash. Okay guys, the mash is done. Uh, got my spent greens over here. I tried to uh, sparge it a little bit, that's why I got it drain in here because obviously we have a, not really a stuck sparge, but it's, you know, with that pumpkin in there, it ain't free flowing through that, that mesh bag. So, as you know, if you ever brewed with pumpkin before, it like clogs your mesh bag or your fermenter, I mean, not your, uh, your mash tons and stuff like that. So, this is the color, it's looking really nice. And we're going to bring this up to the boil, I'll add that golden light malt at the end when the boil is done because I don't boil my extract because it's already been boiled and re you know dehydrated and all that stuff so I like to just add it to the end of the boil incorporate it in so uh, yep we're adding two ounces of Willamette for this uh, beer so obviously not very hoppy at all you don't want a hoppy uh, pumpkin ale and I'm just trying to figure out what, um, how much, I, mean, I might just add a little bit of spice. Because I think a little little goes a long way. I don't want to add too much, so I'm going to err on the side of caution and maybe just add a teaspoon. Uh, and when I go to bottle, if it doesn't taste that spicy to me. And anyway, I've brewed with more spices than that in my other pumpkin beers that I've done before in the past. And it just, it, uh, it just falls out during the, the fermentation process. So, either when it comes to bottling time, I'll see what it tastes like, how it tastes to me, and then we'll go from there. Either add a little more spice, boil something, or you can take like a little thing of vodka and like make like a tincture and just add it to taste. Well, we'll see how it goes. So, bring it back, probably at the end, into the boil when I get it in the fermenter. Alright guys, 
brew day is done. Thanks for coming along and joining me on this video. You can see all that stuff going on in there. All that pumpkin and everything. All the spices. So, uh, yeah. That's the color. And I'm going to take a grab reading in a minute. So, I'm hoping that this comes out to be about 1050 something at least. So, hope you guys enjoyed this Captain Bailey production. And first make you go. Well, where is he at? Oh, he's, uh, he's getting some his grub on over there. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll bring you back in the middle of October for the taste test. Once I bottle this, then I'm going to let it sit for about five weeks. That's the grace period on a puppy brew. Anyway. And that's when I start to drink anyway, my uh, fall brew. So, thanks for joining us on another Captain Bailey's adventure. Until the next time, let's set sail.